this episode, we're swapping a 328 differential into our 323i. Okay, so this here is my 2006 E90 323i. And anybody that's ever had a 323i won't be surprised to hear the differential is shot. It's a weak spot on these cars, so today we're going to try swapping in the differential from a 328i. Can it be done? We're about to find out. Okay, so this isn't going to be a full tutorial on how to remove the differential. I'll try to show as much as I can, but mostly what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing the differences between uh, the 328i differential and the 323i differential. I think the drive shafts are different. We'll take a look at the axles and see how they're going to work. But uh, first thing we're going to do is get it jacked up. So now we're under the car. Basically what I'm going to have to do is uh, remove this heat shield so I've got access to the drive shaft. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna slowly start pulling stuff off. And uh, eventually we'll get this uh, drive shaft off or uh, differential out. Uh, we're definitely going to have to remove the uh, axles from the uh, differential. And like I said, I think the drive shafts are different so uh, we're probably going to have to pull that completely out, so I'll get started. Okay, so here are the differentials side by side. This is the 328i differential. This is the 323i differential. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is very noisy. Bearings are basically shot inside there. This is, uh, I don't really know the condition of this. It's kind of out of a wrecked car. I got it for cheap. Um, but it's nice and quiet. So hopefully uh, this will fix my problem. Um, it has been recommended to upgrade to like a 328i diff because even if you get this repaired, it's just going to happen again. Apparently it's because of a design flaw. So let's go over the differences. There is definitely a difference. There, this one is shorter from here to here. And this one is longer. This one from the center is about 10 inches to this drive shaft flange where this one is about nine inches. So it's about an inch short. Uh, that's a rough estimate, uh, but basically that's why if you swap these out, you do also have to swap out the drive shafts. What I learned also, which I did not uh, take into account, so I have to pick up some more parts, is the, you're gonna need new uh, CV axles as well because the flange on here is four inches and the axle flange here is like three and three quarter inches. So it is smaller and just even the, the bolts here are, this is the bolt from the uh, 323, you can see it's just too small. So um, I'm gonna have to pick up axles as well. I might be able to get used axles from the guy I got this diff from, so I will, uh, I'm working on that. Otherwise, I'll have to just order 328i axles. Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, let's flip the camera around and take a quick look at the drive shafts, and then we'll uh, continue on. Okay, here's the drive shafts. This here is the drive shaft from the 323i, and this is the drive shaft from the 328i you can see the 328i is slightly shorter um almost looks like a little more yeah 
about an inch and a quarter the way that they're sitting right here, but I think this can come apart a little bit. I might have the nut perfectly lined up, so, but it's approximately, yeah, just over an inch shorter, so that will, otherwise they're exactly the same. The flanges look the same. Um, this end is the same, so just double check all these. Yeah, everything else is the same, so uh, I'm gonna get these put in and uh, we'll get the diff put it back in and then we'll just be waiting on axles. Shafts back in 328i differential is in. The only thing that's not uh, installed and hooked up are the axles because, like I said, I need to get uh, new axles. Uh, these ones were probably due to be replaced anyways. They've got quite a few kilometers on them, so I'm working on getting those. And uh, once those arrive, then we'll get those installed. Okay, so here's a quick look at the uh, axles. I was able to pick up a set of used axles from the guy I got the differential from. And as you can see, they're quite a bit beefier here, these uh, 328 ones. Just diameter of the actual, actual shaft itself is larger. And then, like I said earlier, the flanges are different. So this end is exactly the same, but uh, it's just this end that is larger on the 328i differential and therefore the axles so get these installed and then we'll uh, see how it works okay so I reinstalled the uh, axles unfortunately I forgot to film that but I'm doing this all by myself today uh, and we took it for a test drive and it's a world of difference the differential is completely quiet now there's no grinding or noises coming from it so I would say we have successfully installed a 320 8i differential into our 323i so you do have to replace the axles better replace the drive shaft and the differential itself but overall i'd say it's success and hopefully uh, we won't have that problem again it was a little bit labor intensive but overall nothing uh extremely difficult just a little bit awkward so it'd definitely be better if you had a help as always if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe we'll see you next time on analog generation